this is the um, just a note to myself really to sort of get the ha my head around uh, using a 360 degree camera so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cube and well I'm going to move the camera to the center and put cubes around it basically so first off I'm just going to have this cube and in the y direction slide it across a little bit that's good enough add a modifier which is an array modifier I'll leave it at two um, and just slide that up a little bit so there's a bit of a spacing there grab in the x direction so it sits around where the camera should be and I'll grab that in the z direction and drop it so that's the first modifier and I could probably even bump that to three close enough well maybe even four four is a good number add the second array modifier again bump that to four but here's relative uh, in the x direction we'll change that to five in the y direction that's actually looking really good uh, so if we look above we can uh, grab this and drop it roughly centered perfect then oh gee all these array modifiers um, except again it's going in x we want to go uh, five in the z direction and if we rotate that round we've got this whole matrix cubes grab in the z direction pop it down a little bit and that sets up the scene we'll be looking through and when I render this I'm going to render this really really small so it's quick the rendering is done what we need to do I should have done this at the start is to save it so I'm just going to go save as I'm going to dump it on the desktop and I'm going to save it as a particular file type so desktop and I'm going to call it an accurately original name test 2 when I save it, I want to save it as a PNG. That keeps the file size down. I'm oh, sorry, not a PNG, a JPEG. Keeps the file size down. It seems to be the default format for a lot of this stuff. Does what a lot of this stuff is um, displayed as. So saving it stores all that, and then final stage will be to actually upload it to somewhere you can view it. And there's a bunch of websites that will do that. All right. So here's the finished thing. I've actually uploaded it to ArtStation, which I dump random stuff from time to time. Um, and so here you can see you can actually move around 360 degrees um, this is not the first one oops, I just uploaded this is the one I just uploaded it's far lower resolution with far less cubes only two in each direction from where you're sitting but it gives you an idea of how this works as a piece and I probably should have done more work to just place the camera and all that sort of stuff but it's really only a test uh, the other side of it is that you can actually upload to the models to sketch flab Flab, ha. Huh? Sketch fab, as in sketch fabrication, to have something to manipulate. So shiny and um, almost irrelevant. But, you know, this is just an example of like taking something from Blender and then where can you put it, what can you do with it, that sort of stuff. Now, immensely simple. It's a bunch of cubes. Um, but if you want to render out um, an environment, a scene, um, then showcasing it on something like ArtStation is actually really beneficial because it can show off what you can do. Um, even with something like 